Hey, welcome to my channel. Last night I did some bacon. That looks about good. I need about eighth of a stick of butter or bacon. Rendered fat. All right, what are we doing tonight, right? Let's mix that around. I already got some defrosted broccoli florets. Tonight, we need two packages of Andrea lobster ravioli. Been sitting in the fridge too much. We were going to do them. And we're like, ah, how should we do them? Well, 99 cents. We got some dollar pesto. I had some sun-dried tomatoes soaking in a balsamic, a low-acidity balsamic. And we had a little bit of onion left over. We'll probably cheese it up a little. And that'll be my dinner. Shall we pause it for the cause? I think you hear stuff sizzling in the background, don't you? All right. If you haven't seen it, those are onions. I baked six pounds of onions in the for like 12 hours. Normally, I like to caramelize them. This was something new. So we're going to take those. We're going to walk those up a little bit. The broccoli's almost done. We'll be back in a second. Here in the background, the broccoli started to caramelize. Such a good spatula. Look how clean that jar is. This is amazing. I love this. I can clean out a jar. So and look. I reverse it, that little part at the bottom, I can actually get that too. That is probably the cleanest jar of pesto ever. Oh wait, hold on. I could always do this. Make it even cleaner, right? Give it a taste. Not bad. Dollar. Come on, seriously. It's not the best. If you make your own pesto fresh, trust me. A thousand times better than that. All right, what do we got? We have a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes. That were soaking in balsamic for at least a month. When I say the term at least a month, I know it was a lot longer than a month. Clean that. Definitely wanted to put some butter in here, but we opted out because we had so much bacon fat. And last but not least, we reintroduce The lobster raviolis, they're all stuffed together because they've been sitting for a while, so you got to separate them. I did not do a very good job of cooking these because I just threw them into the wok, turned my back, and they were stuck to the bottom. And this is what happens when a lobster ravioli gets stuck to the bottom. I'm sorry, lobster ravioli. Please forgive me. All right, and just walk them up. I was going to put some of my uh, broccoli rob, but you know something? Good enough. It's got that prettiness, right? Look at that. Comes together amazing. Oh, wait. This is probably the first time that a human on the planet is eating this dish. And that's why you're coming to my channel. Because I'm always bringing you unique, unique, unique. I've been working on something. It's definitely going to be interesting. All 
I haven't been like doing what I'm supposed to do. Upload hundreds of videos every week. Because I'm kind of disgusted. All these people out there that make 7.6 cents for a thousand views. Google pays me blah, 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 less than a penny. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for my peeps. I know stuff that other people don't. That's why you come to my channel. Alright. Wait. That's vegetarian. Not bacon grease.